YouTube, it's Celine here, and today I'm with my friend Emily, also Kristen, who is assisting in the background, who refuses to be in this video, although she did a whole like 12 minute video with me on my pet peeves video, so go check that out. The judge, the questionnaire, like, you know, the, yeah, she'll assist. Yeah, she will be assisting. Anyways, we asked a question on Twitter as well as we filmed a video on Instagram, like saying to ask us questions, so. Here are your questions that you guys asked us. So first off is Instagram. Um, how old are you and when's your birthday? My birthday is May 6th, so I will be 15, no. I almost said what you did before. I will be 16 on <laughs> May 6th, so. Yeah, I got my age wrong. Um, <laughs> I will be 16 on July 17th. Like vice versa. All right, of this year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Technically I'm older, so I'm wiser and better. Yeah, I'm older. I'm taller. Old. By like an inch. <laughs> okay, we she's know like, she's, like, she's like six foot. No, she's not. She's like, like five, five seven. seven. Yeah, <laughs> around there. Okay, who inspired you to start YouTube? Um, well, it's definitely changed because I just like different YouTubers now. But when I first started, the first person I watched was Juicy Star Zero Seven because my friend Melise watched it. So um, I was like obsessed with her for a while, and then it was more Mac Barbie Zero Seven, Steel Mabel Nine and like that crowd that really started getting me into it but now I'm more focused on like different YouTubers who have like different videos so yeah I don't have a YouTube so <laughs> I can't really answer that question but, but if I did yet to be inspired oh, I just mostly watch comedy that's it she's like a she's obsessed with Vine yes and the Vine boys. Mad Con voice for life I'm kidding but the I ignorant, do love them the ignorant crowd what if they watch this right now and hear you say that Hi, Nash. <laughs> okay. Um, what advice would you give to a newbie on YouTube? I would say try to do your own thing. Like, if you're really inspired by someone, don't do it to a point where you're copying nearly every single video they do as well as copying the way they talk and just copying like the way they are because then it's going to be obvious that you're not being you and you're not being yourself. So the main thing is to just Talk to the camera as if you're talking to your friends. Like, I make sure to try to talk as normal as I can. Like, I don't try to change my voice or do anything like that. So I would just say, like, yourself. <laughs> so, yeah. What would you, what would you suggest? To well, a to a new YouTuber, I would suggest exactly what Celine said. Just be yourself and just do what you like to do. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, if your thing is to make people laugh, make people laugh. Yeah. Don't like, just, like... Say, okay, since everyone's doing this makeup tutorial, I'm gonna do this makeup tutorial. Like, if, if you don't wanna do that, then. Like, don't Celine do does that. what she loves, and her videos are great. Like, they're oh, awesome. You're, you are so nice. No this problem. Girl's... Send her love in the But comments. yeah, like, just do what you love and just have fun with it and just yeah. be yourself. Exact them all. Okay, um, what country would you like to visit? That's a good question. That's what do you very let's, let's, I wanna see your answer first. Wow, what country don't do I not want? visit. I haven't been outside the United States like at all but I think a country that I would really love to visit is Australia. Okay. I good have surf. Two. Good surf. Um, well I go to Turkey every single summer so Turkey is like my second home like I have a second home there so um, if you ever see videos of me in Turkey with Melissa, um, Be Melissa Bellelli if you know her or not I'll link her down below but anyways um, I love Turkey a lot so if I've never been there before which I have like I'd go there but if not France but I've already been there for a day when I was in Germany so maybe Paris so like a little part in France but probably England maybe or Greece maybe? well I've been to Greece I go into the Kios Islands so technically <laughs> I can't I guess, with you Celine so I guess in no I want to go to India that would be cool Do you know how much fun that would be that would be cool that would be so much fun I want to go. I, oh, that would I'm be cool. set. India. I'm, I'm going to India. Like I'm actually set. Like I want to go to India now. That would be fun. I haven't, I haven't been, been to like France, Germany, <laughs> Turkey. I've been. You got to me a Canada. mug from. You got me a mug from Germany, and I, my dad used it the other day. Oh, so I'm happy that you use it. <laughs> if you could meet any celebrity, dead or alive, who would it be, and why? Audrey Hepburn and Frank Sinatra. Bam. <laughs> oh I my God, I this is it. such a good question. But like oh. I. Oh. Michael Bublé. So. Okay. Jason Mraz. Um. No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a tough I'll question for me, but um, I've met a lot of people throughout my life, kind of-ish, since like fifth grade. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, like you, Celine. Oh, ooh, <laughs> that was that was personal. <laughs> ooh, okay, you are kicking me off this Am I really? chair. Yeah. Um, but somebody I would really, really love to meet is Austin Mahone. You might make fun of me for this, but I love him. Okay. I was just at his concert two days ago, and it was amazing. I Who was your first celebrity crush? This is gonna sound so weird, but Johnny Depp. <laughs> Honestly, that's not weird. That's not really weird. Second or first grade, beyond in love with Johnny Depp. Second or first grade? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not weird as no, like, as a celebrity. Crush, I had a magazine, like, but I, that's just a little young than I pictured yeah. you would. No, Mine Nick was Robin from Batman. So <laughs> no, that and I had. A, oh, I had. I, a, I know who my celebrity crush was when I was like five. It was the little green guy from Teen Titans. I used to think it was so cute. What is Teen Titans? Yeah, what is, is that the guy with the band-aid? Band band it was band Robin. It was Robin when he was younger with the girl who used to levitate. The, 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 the turtles? Are, are those the turtles? That's Ninja Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. No, so what are you talking about? I'm talking about Teen Titans. It was like this, the cyborg guy, and then know. the green dude who turned into any animal known to man. I had a serious crush on him when no, I was like five. I had a Nickelodeon magazine. Do they still make those? Nick Mags? I don't okay, think well, so. Well, anyways, like he was on the cover, and I worshipped like that <laughs> magazine, like that specific, like that special issue. Like I carried it everywhere when I went upstairs, downstairs. Like, do you still have it? No, I, I don't know where it is. I have like a whole stack of magazines up there, but like half of them are gone. Mm. Who's your so. celebrity crush now? Does Frank Sinatra still count? <laughs> I mean, they did say <laughs> dead or alive. Um. Well, no, now, that was the question before. Probably. Oh, the question before? Okay. Well, oh. currently living. Currently living, Leo DiCaprio. Yes! Probably. <laughs> My dad was working with him and he struck him wait, out wait, in wait, Wiffle wait, Ball. Wait, 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 with who? With who? Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay. And he struck him out in Wiffle Ball when the crew was playing Wiffle Ball. That's fun. <laughs> That's an embarrassing story. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can't. I can't believe that actually happened. Yeah, that oh, happened. Oh, like, well, her dad is like deals, like not deals, but he's in charge of transportation for movies and TV shows. So she like she's met a lot of people. She met Haley Steinfeld of the day and so, Asa Butterfield. That actually that happened was, two weeks ago, pretty, and I was pretty excited pretty about jealous. that. I was pretty jealous of that. Fifth grade, I met Corbin Blue. That was the <laughs> highlight of my childhood. <laughs> Who's your first friend? How long did you know them? Are you still friends? Mine was a girl named Erica. Well, two no. Yes, Erica. I'm not gonna say your last name because obviously it's the internet. Um, but two Ericas actually, and yes, I'm still friends. I'm really good friends with one of them. However, I'm just friendly with the other one. Like I'm not as close as I was. But um, before I moved, I my first friend was a girl named Kira. She used to live around the block from me, and we would literally hang out every single day. My oh, dad would cute. take us to the playground every other day. We'd stay over each other's houses and like. Perfect thing was we lived right around the block from each other. <coughs> like I was so social. My mom used to tell me that I used to invite everybody over to my house, <laughs> like every Maria single day. Emily. If you could eat something for the rest of your life, what would it be? So or I'm, you're such a white girl. Oh no, <laughs> iced latte with caramel and whipped cream from Dunkin' Donuts. That stuff is that absolutely is amazing. America runs on Dunkin'. Yeah. <laughs> you know that? Celine's mom's pudding from Turkey. Hi so. hair. <laughs> and that was what I would eat for the rest of my life because me and Kristen had it like two sap. hours ago and it was so good. It tasted like sap. And like me and Kristen sap. have no idea why we know what sap tastes like. <laughs> well, I know. What's your favorite drink from Starbucks? <gasps> uh, good question. Do you want to start? You can start. I always get a caramel frappuccino. That used to be one of my favorites. Every single day. Now, caramel no, flan, latte caramel flan frappuccino, caramel frappuccino with extra caramel in it. You can't just not have extra caramel in all those drinks. I'm oh only going goodness. with those things. Oh no, I really like the very, very hibiscus one, the red one. Like the, the, the. Especially like the big size, because like, you just like, if you take like a sip, it's just like all gone from me. I just go. I remember for my birthday, I had the largest like the uh, no. Trente? Trent, Something Trent, like Trent that. Day? I got it on my 14th birthday before I went to a water park with my friends and my mom literally bought me one that was like Yeah, so you stay big. hydrated all day. Um, where do you get inspiration to write and be so amazing? <laughs> oh, from Twitter? Just being her. That was from Instagram. That's her Instagram? answer, just being her. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's not even gonna try to answer it. My answer was um, good enough. But 
like get inspiration. If I see a quote that just really makes me think and ponder about it, just like I go into detail, like I just really think about it for the entire day, and then I kind of write it down and then I start to memorize it and then I just decide, I just kind of build off of that. Like for my inspirational videos, like I mentioned a few quotes that my friend Jordan sent me, so it just kind of depends. Like it's from a quote, it could be from um, a book, it could be basically from anywhere or anything, like any idea that just gets my attention. And that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for your questions. Hopefully we answered them to the full extent that you guys wanted us to. Mm -hmm. Perhaps even more than you guys wanted to know. Then for um, assisting with these mm -hmm. questions. Ah, gotcha. And so, <laughs> yeah. And do you Last want to question. build a snowman? Do you want to build a snowman? Do you want to build a snowman? Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> Build a snowman. To build a snowman. Okay, bye. I'm actually, very tempted to just. Talk to Timmy. Did I just wink? Did I just close both my eyes? My life. My life. I'm still like a Bieber fan, so. I'm a true believer. He's my idol. I want to be like him when I grow up. Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> oh, get this, get this! Clap it up and thump. Well, not clap it up, but don't like clap at your video. Can you imagine people just like clapping at the computer screen? Thank you for applauding. If you did applaud. Wait, who's clapping? Oh, wait, that's right. That's my friend Kristen who refuses to be in this video, so. Hey. <laughs>